Thanksgiving is my absolute favorite American holiday. Turkey, stuffing, gravy, a table full of food. What's not to love? <laughs> This year, we're hosting our close family and friends, and I get to cook the bird. Of course, in my house, we give Thanksgiving a little bit of Latin sazon. Chorizo, apple, and cornbread stuffing. Sweet potato and pecan puree. Crisp Brussels sprouts with melt-in-your-mouth pork belly. And the star of the feast? Yucatan-style turkey. ¿Qué tal de bonito? ¿Está haciendo it beautiful? Yeah. Juju, I'm happy with our turkey. Dame, dame, dame tu chocolate, dame, dame, dame tu piloncillo, dame, dame, dame café caliente, dame, dame, dame tu corazón. Patty's Mexican Table is made possible by the Ministry of Agriculture, Livestock, Rural Development, Fisheries and Food, Mex Best, and the National Agricultural Council. Food brand meats with traditional Mexican flavor. La Morena Chiles and Sauces, authentic Mexican flavor. A place that's a few hours away. A place that moves at a different pace. A place that travels back in time. A place that is Campeche. Campeche. Live it to believe it. Thanksgiving. And today we're going to do the same thing we do every Thanksgiving, which is make a ginormous feast and have some of our closest friends over and eat. The first thing I'm going to make is a chorizo and green apple cornbread stuffing. And I have the Mexican chorizo here, which is very different from the Spanish chorizo. The Mexican chorizo is raw and it's very spiced up. It is made with a little bit of vinegar, so when you cook it, it really flakes up. I have my pan over medium heat. I'm gonna add just a tablespoon or two of oil. In Mexico, when you get the chorizo, it has a lot more fat than the chorizo you get here in the US, even though it's Mexican style. The chorizo is going to release its flavor and its color. So you can see here, it started coloring the oil. So that is the ground chilies and the spices. Sometimes it has a chiote. The first time that I heard about Thanksgiving was when my husband and I moved to Texas. And that was many years ago. I was very young and inexperienced. And in Mexico, turkey is a thing for Christmas. So I thought, you know what? I want to try these Thanksgiving things. And so I pulled a Thanksgiving feast for me and Danny, and it didn't turn out so well. This is one and a half white onions chopped along with four cloves of garlic. We're going to use four stalks of celery. Even though Thanksgiving was a very new thing to me, one thing I knew, stuffing. Because my mom is a master stuffing maker. Duck, geese, chicken, Cornish hen, you name the bird, she's got the stuffing. So you're gonna use two green apples. I like them tart and firm. Just peel them, remove the core, and then coarsely chop. I learned from my mom. Make your stuffing interesting. You need to have some vegetables, some fruit, some meat, something spicy, something sweet. I'm adding 
adding some thyme and marjoram and some salt. And the last thing I'm gonna add is about a cup of pecans. My mom has never come to visit for Thanksgiving, but I've told her about this stuffing. You know how your mom can sometimes be your biggest critic. Well, when I told her about this stuffing, she was like, that sounds really good, Patty. Of course, because I applied all of her basic principles. What we're gonna do next is crumble some cornbread. Break it into pieces. And next, I'm gonna add all of the stuffing in here. So you can start thinking about the flavors. You have the sweet cornbread, the spiced up chorizo, and the crunchy and naughty pecans. This is also a secret that my mom passed on. One and a half cups of chicken broth, and this is just gonna bind the stuffing together. So I have the turkey here that's been marinating for over 24 hours, but you could actually brine it for three days and it will continue to get better. The flavors of this turkey are basically Yucatecan. So I'll tell you what's in this brine. Six tablespoons of achiote paste, six cups of bitter orange, six cups chicken broth, 12 garlic cloves that you char and peel, one tablespoon dried oregano, one teaspoon ground cumin, one teaspoon ground allspice, two teaspoons salt, two teaspoons freshly ground pepper, and then you just mix it all. So now I'm going to make the bed for that turkey to sit on. For the first couple years that I lived in the US, I did not understand Thanksgiving. We started to get invited to our friends' homes for their celebrations, and then I started getting it. You know, the biggest deal when it comes to food was the turkey. The person in charge of making the turkey and the stuffing is Sean. And I said, can I have a shot at the bird? I'll give it my Mexican spin. If you guys don't like it, I'll stop. And Sean said, fine, you can take the turkey this year. So I came up with this turkey recipe that has the Yucatecan flavors. When they all ate it, everybody was like, you can take the turkey from now on, Patty. It was a conquest. 18 pounds. I'm gonna stuff as much stuffing as I can in here. And then I'm gonna pour the rest of the marinade over the turkey. I'm going to roast it at 450 degrees so that it's gonna get a nice char and it's gonna have that rustic feel from the Yucatan Peninsula, from the pib, from that underground oven. And then I'm gonna cover it with banana leaves and that's gonna make it wild jungle Yucatecan, and then I'm gonna seal it with aluminum foil as if it was cooking underground all night. And then wild things are gonna happen in here. I'm gonna take this baking dish, and for those who don't want their stuffing coming from the bird, which is ridiculous if you ask me, but fine, I'll indulge. gonna roast for 30 minutes. Ah, cut right, cut right. <laughs> Nobody said Thanksgiving wasn't a lot of work but it's fun work. I don't think I know a holiday where people use more pots and pans and dishes and no wonder movies have families fighting all the time. Anyway, 4.50, a half an hour, we have that nice roast and char, which is gonna give us that rustic feel. We're gonna give it the full Yucatecan treatment. I'm gonna wrap it in banana leaves. 
what is this banana leaf gonna do? You may be asking. What is it not gonna do? It's going to infuse the turkey with its very fragrant aroma and its grassy taste. And it's going to make this pan act as if it was an underground roasting pit. It is a very traditional way of cooking in the Yucatan and to make it even more like that experience, I'm going to completely seal it with aluminum. And it's gonna go in the oven at 350 degrees for about three hours and a half. Here we go again. No Thanksgiving is complete without the delicious sides. This sweet potato puree is simple. Start by heating one cup of milk. Then add one cup of whole pecans, some thyme, nutmeg, and let it simmer. I want the pecans to sit in there with the milk as the milk is warming up so that the pecans will really soften and they will get a little bit of that nutmeg and thyme flavor as well. I have three pounds of sweet potatoes that I already peeled and I was keeping in water so that they wouldn't brown and just cut them in chunks so that they will cook faster. Another staple for Thanksgiving is a sweet potato puree. And it's funny because in Mexico we have a very similar meal, turkey and sweet potatoes with marshmallows on top, usually for Christmas. We're gonna cook the sweet potatoes until they're nice and soft, which is gonna take anywhere from 25 to 30 minutes. In here, I have a pound of pork belly that's been marinating in three cups of water, a third of a cup of salt, a third of a cup of sugar, and it's been marinating for 24 hours. And I'm gonna use it to pair with some crunchy Brussels sprouts. I'm going to add a half a cup of chicken broth and a half a cup of water to the pork belly. Then I'm going to cover it with aluminum foil and cook it in the oven at 350 degrees for two and a half hours until it is completely pork tender. Are those sweet potatoes ready? Let's find out. And if you can go into the sweet potato with the tip of a knife, yes, you can. They are ready. You're going to add half of your sweet potatoes in your powerful food processor. You could use your blender too. You're going to add half of your pecan and milk mixture. And now we're gonna puree until it is completely smooth. I'm gonna go and do the same thing with the rest of the ingredients. And to this batch, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of my adored chipotle in adobo sauce. It is smoky, it is sweet, it is spicy, but not too bad at all. And then some salt. I'm gonna puree it again. Okay, so now that the second batch is ready, I have the same pot in which I cook the sweet potatoes and I'm gonna add four tablespoons of butter. I have it over medium heat. I'm going to add that puree. The part from here too. And now we're going to add Mexican crema, Mexican style cream for very generous tablespoons. Mexican crema is not like heavy whipping cream. It is very thick, it's very tangy, it's slightly salty. Mmm, it's gonna add that savory taste and it's gonna make the sweet potatoes so creamy, come look. We're gonna cook these for about eight minutes, just until it is completely heated through. gonna be a great menu. It's been three and a half hours 
and I haven't even begun to remove the aluminum foil and I can see the steam and the smell. It is so citrusy. Now when you do that at home, because you are gonna make this turkey, I know you are, be careful when you remove the aluminum and the banana leaves because this is going to be very hot. Mmm, the deeper I go, it is like a gigantic tamal of a turkey just with the turkey. Mmm, the smell is divine. Now I'm gonna put the turkey back in the oven so that it continues to roast just on the outside. I want it completely brown and I want the meat to really fall off the bone. And now that we're here, I'm gonna check that pork belly. Okay, it's very tender, but now we need to brown it. So it's going in there for another 20 to 30 minutes. I'm gonna get the Brussels sprouts going. So I'm gonna start with the sauce. I'm gonna add four tablespoons of unsalted butter. I have four garlic cloves. Just gonna chop. I'm gonna add the garlic in here. Have it over medium heat. Thanksgiving for us has become this friend tradition. We have no family in Washington, D.C., and our close friends have really become our American family. We all love eating, and what can I say? They let me make the turkey. I'm going to add a third of a cup of soy sauce, a third of a cup of freshly squeezed orange juice, Asian and Mexican go really well together. Think of soy sauce, peanut oil, toasted sesame oil with chilies and agave, and that's what we're doing here. Quarter of a cup of sherry vinegar, and then we have a quarter of a cup of agave syrup, but you can also use maple or honey if you don't find agave. I'm gonna grab a habanero, and I'm just gonna poke it all over and I'm gonna drop the habanero right in here. And it's just going to let a little bit of its oils and heat come out to the sauce, but it's not gonna be super spiced up. I'm gonna let that reduce for about 15 to 20 minutes until it's nice and thick. I'm gonna turn these on over medium high heat. So I'm adding about three to four tablespoons of peanut oil. You may be surprised to hear peanut oil, but peanuts are native to Mexico. I know it sounds very Asian, but guess where they got it from? You're welcome. A little salt, pepper. We're gonna let these char and roast. I mean, I really don't wanna move them a ton because I want them to get that nice char. Mmm, I love the smell of charred Brussels sprouts. I love so many smells in the kitchen. We're gonna cook these for about 10 to 12 minutes. Once you see that your Brussels sprouts have a really nice char on both sides, you can lower the heat to medium. This is pork belly perfection. If it wasn't Thanksgiving, I would just grab a piece of bread, dice this up, add some avocado, and done. I am very excited about this Brussels sprout dish because it's a new thing. Thanksgiving, it seems, after living here in the U.S. for almost 18 years, it is a very good occasion to continue to pass on traditions, but to also bring in new things to the table. Mm. A little fresh crunch. I know who's gonna wanna bite that. Juju loves habaneros. Mm. When you bite it all mixed together, you get that Fat in the middle of the pork belly is just exploding in your mouth and that glaze has a little bit of citrus and it has the habanero taste, not that much of the heat. And my job is done. Ooh, turkey. Choo -choo. 
shut the door for me? Come over. Looks really good. You like it? Yeah. Okay, now you know what we're gonna do? No. I'm gonna take a nap. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, do you need help? Ready? I'm gonna do this, Juju. I'm gonna One, do two, this. three, go. Hey, nice job. ¿Qué tal de bonito? Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. Juju! I'm happy with our turkey. Now the turkey is resting. And now we're gonna make the gravy. So I have onions and tomatoes and all the juices of the turkey. And now I'm gonna take all of these and I'm gonna pour it here. As I put it in there, Juju, can you help me mash it so that the solids stay here and the liquids go to the bottom, okay? Okay, okay te lo voy echando, okay? okay? I'm gonna start adding it and then just... What is your favorite part of Thanksgiving? The stuffing. The stuffing? Yeah. Now, what do you like more? The stuffing that comes out of the turkey or the stuffing that we put in the baking dish? The stuffing that we put in the baking dish. I like the stuffing that comes out of the turkey, so there's not gonna be any fighting. Okay. Why do you like the stuffing? Because it has so much taste, it has the flavors from the turkey, and I love that it is very moist. And you know I grew up eating stuffing since I was very little. So I? Uh, yeah. Okay, Juju, so do you wanna see if the boys are ready, si está la mesa puesta, yo acabo okay. de cocinar esto, no, I finish cooking this, but no, good, 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 good. Okay, now I'm gonna bring the stuffing that I put in the baking dish, and I'm just gonna add about a cup of this delicious sauce. And I'm gonna put this in the oven, which is at 350 for about 20 minutes, until it gets nice and crisp on top and completely heat it through. This one goes here, and then like the big, oh, like a big knife next to the little knife. Ah, oh, what'd you do? No, you did it wrong. No, 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 no. No. This is for this person. Okay. This is for. Oh, okay. I see. There you go. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Tamara and her husband Sean are two of her closest friends, and we've been doing Thanksgiving together for years. Sean is the turkey expert. I have the turkey. I took it out of the oven, but I have not touched it. Okay, fantastic. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It looks patilicious. <laughs> Tamara, I have the pears for you. So, so you have tarragon. Baby spinach, mm -hmm. uh, thinly sliced fennel, and then I have a balsamic olive oil vinaigrette. Mm. The stuffing smells Green great. Apple. Oh, wow. Yeah, I love... Okay, do you like the stuffing from the inside of the turkey more? Like, I like I that know, one. you like that I one. know. I think we should have a taste <laughs> test. Tamara, close your eyes. Okay, A. Mm. Ah. <laughs> okay, B. Okay, I know B is that one, <laughs> but I liked A more. The A's have it. <laughs> You go at it, Sean. Okay. I was careful because they're really so sharp. sharp. I just sharpened them. Oh, this one is really good too. Okay, we love your turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, everybody grab your own plate. Sean, that looks delicious. Can I trust you first? Oh, yes. <laughs> You have to do that while you take a bite. Is there butter? Did you take this now? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's beyond just, and the kick. It's got just it's amazing. Mm. Yeah. Before this, mm -hmm. I always like the outside stuff anymore, but now I like the inside more. I don't know if I agree with you that the inside stuffing is that much better. Yes, you know, because the outside has like there's a texture thing to it. It's got just it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Patty, I normally don't like turkey. Mm -hmm. And I love your turkey. It is mm. so delicious. I loved it so much. I think we should celebrate Thanksgiving in June. <laughs> <laughs> so happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. We're so happy to be here. Cheers.
more recipes and information from this episode and more, visit pattyhinich.com and connect. Find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest at Patty Hinich. Patty's Mexican Table is made possible by Yucatan. All the whirling colors of a culture. The crystal blue of Mayan pools. And of getting closer to the heart of things. It's a feeling. Yucatan. Live it to believe it. La Morena Chiles and Sauces. Authentic Mexican flavor. Introducing Food Campirano Mexican Cheeses with resealable packaging. The National Agricultural Council. Mex Best. And the Ministry of Agriculture, Livestock, Rural Development, Fisheries and Food. Proud to support Patty's Mexican Table on public television.